Hello there, welcome to Bear Down Kitchen. My name is Michael Lomo, Executive Chef at the University of Arizona. Today, we're gonna to be making a few different uh, recipes and I wanna start off with some breakfast items. Uh, we're gonna be working with uh, Shamrock Farms. You know, they've been a great partner of ours here at the university for many, many years. And we're gonna be featuring some of their dairy products today. We're gonna to be making banana, chocolate, peanut butter smoothies today using cottage cheese. Cottage cheese has a great resource of protein uh, that's very inexpensive to put inside of uh, your shake or your smoothie. Uh, one of the ways that you're able to do that with is, is blending it up and you almost goes into nothing and turns into thin air. It's almost like a, like a milkshake when we're all done with it, so it's not really a smoothie anymore. Uh, so for the recipe we're gonna make today, we're gonna be using uh, one banana, uh, and we're just gonna peel the banana here, uh, take the, the peeling off, we're gonna put it in our blender, We're going to put two tablespoons of sugar. Now, if you want it to be a little, a little less sweet, you can just put a little less sugar inside of there. Uh, cocoa powder. Uh, we're going to put two tablespoons of cocoa powder in it. So this is going to make it a rich, dark chocolate uh, taste to it all. And then uh, peanut butter. Uh, and then we're going to add cottage cheese. So we're going to add about six ounces of cottage cheese. Uh, to our mixture here. Uh, a little bit of 2% milk. We've got about eight ounces of 2% milk here. Uh, roughly about a cup of ice. And what the ice does is it cools all the products down uh, and makes the, the actual smoothie a little bit uh, thicker and richer feeling. Now, uh, once we get everything on there, we get our lids securely fastened. We are going to turn on our blender here. So now that we have our beautiful uh, chocolate smoothie, we're just gonna pour in the glass, see how nice and thick and rich it looks right there. And then, since we're not really making a smoothie, we're making a milkshake. We're just gonna put a little bit of whipped cream on here. Have a little fun. Put a little decoration on there. And we have our straw. Look how great that looks right there. But wait, we can do something else with this smoothie that you may have not thought of before. Ever thought about doing a popsicle? You know, the weather will start to get warmer during the summer. We can take this smoothie mixture and we can actually make a popsicle with it. So we have this fun, uh, handy dandy popsicle maker that we're just gonna add our sticks inside of here. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our smoothie mixture and we're gonna pour it right inside. We're gonna go ahead and place this into the freezer but we're gonna do a little TV magic here because I happen to have made it earlier today. And we've popped out our popsicles here. But look how great that looks. Uh, now you can put these in a little plastic bag. One of the nice things about this is, is because it has uh, uh, milk inside and I know, sour, or excuse me, the cottage cheese, it's actually a little bit denser, so you may want to just let this sit out just for a moment, but it won't melt right away like a, sometimes a fudgicle will, but it does taste just like a fudgicle. Delicious. So there you have it. You can have it not frozen or frozen. What a fun treat to have during the summertime. What a fun treat to have all the time. I'd like to thank Shamrock Foods uh, for their great products that they have for us to use, and bear down. Mm -hmm.